Pharmacists across Ontario will soon be able to prescribe medications for 13 common ailments as the province looks to decrease the pressure on the health care system. Now, while many are praising that move, some experts say more can still be done. It's not the single solution that's going to create capacity. It's one of many things that have to be done. We need to hire more nurses. We need to hire more doctors. We know there's reform that needs to take place holistically, but this is a uh, contribution to it and, and we'll just give people that many more options. Starting January 1st, you can head to your local pharmacy to be treated for things like dermatitis, hay fever, hemorrhoids, pink eye, and uncomplicated urinary tract infections. The province says this will make things more convenient when accessing care and at no extra cost to Ontarians. All you really need is you need to have one of the 13 minor ailments to qualify. You need to have a health card. Uh, and from that perspective, what we are encouraging people to do Again, similar to booking an appointment with a physician would be to call ahead to the pharmacy of your choice or go on to their website and ensure that they are offering the service um, because it'll be a bit of a ramp up uh, transition. Not all 4,700 pharmacies in Ontario will offer this starting January 1st. Some will implement it a little bit later. Local pharmacists say this is something that they've been pushing for for years to decrease wait times in clinics and emergency rooms. There's a lot of these things from my own personal experience that we see. We tell patients, we're like, look, I know what you have. I know how to treat it, but I need you to get a prescription from the doctor. Or even if it's an over-the-counter product that I'm going to give them anyways, there could be financial issues with these patients. They need a prescription to get it covered by their insurance. Experts say this will also give people more options when looking for health care. It's the mother who has um, a child who has pink eye in the middle of the night. You know, where do they go? Um, you don't necessarily want to wait 48 hours or more or have to go to a walk-in clinic and sit with a bunch of sick people. However, local pharmacists say Ontario is behind most of the country. In Alberta, pharmacists can prescribe anything that's not a controlled substance. To be honest with you, I think it's going to take a little time for most pharmacists, but more importantly, most patients to to actually get on board with this entire process. This comes as Clinton Public Hospital in southwestern Ontario says it's closing its emergency department doors overnight tonight. Hamilton Health Sciences also closing its urgent care center on January 1st. For City News, I'm Leah Johansson.